Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel and you're looking at the desktop desktop of my computer because I'm going to be doing tutorials for you guys um, that has been requested because for right now, for right now <laughs> until NROS updates I won't be able to do my LPs and for the people that freaked out thinking I never finished let's plays I'm going to be finishing these let's plays I just have to put them on hold because if you use outdated um, mods it can really mess up your game and it since I've already started using the mods in my LPs if I go in there it'll mess everything up and then it'd be probably way too glitchy to even finish so um, I'm not gonna be using outdated mods because I had the I, I tried I had the mods in my game but I went into create a sim and none of the hair or anything was the loading in create a sim so I had to take out my mods so I have to wait until they are fully updated to have them in my game. So I hopefully you guys start understanding that. So, um, so this uh, this mod, <laughs> this tutorial I'm going to show you how to unpack the Sims 3 pack packs files and put them into package files. So um, go ahead and get a sims 3 pack I am actually gonna go into um, my downloads I have a lot of downloads by the way so baby um, and then go ahead and if they're in the little uh, winra zip file or whatever go ahead and extract the files onto your desktop so it's easier to find and whatnot um, go and put it on your desktop and then once it's there go ahead and I actually use this Sims 3 pack cleaner first to make sure that it's okay, but for some reason it's not going to work. So that's like kind of self-explanatory. Um, all the links and stuff will be in the description to to get these tools. So I'll put the description link or the link to the description link to the description link in the description for this the Sims 3 pack cleaner, and then you guys can use that just to make sure that it's safe. But I already know that this file is saved because I've already used it, but for some reason it's not going to work. So um, go ahead and oh wait, actually you need to have it in a folder in order for this program to um, to pick up. So go ahead and make a folder and just leave it whatever, and open it back up and then click browse and then go onto your desktop crap why is oh my god guys this is the worst tutorial tutorial ever I'm just saying I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my documents because it's not gonna let me look at my desktop through this thing so go ahead and browse and then go into where the folder is um there it is and click OK and then you're gonna extract it to your desktop that's what I have it set up to do and then you just click extract and you can either name it whatever you want like rename to whatever you guys want but I always merge my package files and um, uh, that way it doesn't slow down my computer and whatnot um, so yeah that's it and there's one more thing that I wanted to show you guys that was highly requested um, after I told you guys about it was changing the um, the default gigabyte I guess you could say that your game uses so if you have go into your computer go right click on computer properties so if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM you can do this but if you have like 4 gigabytes of RAM or 2 gigabytes of RAM you won't be able to do this just because it only takes 2 gigabytes and you have to have half of the gigabyte or uh, RAM that you have to do it with so like 4 gigabytes you, it's 2 and 2 gigabytes it's you just have to use the 2 so I have 8 gigabytes of RAM so what I do is go into your um, computer go into OS program files or wait no it's program files x86 and then go into it's either gonna be EA or origin games de depending on where you downloaded it from I got it from origin games go into the Sims 3 go into game bin and look for this configuration setting file which is right underneath the Sims 3 little icon go open with notepad and you'll see 
all of these numbers and right now it's not set up to do the four which is kind of weird but go and um, right here the memory usage limit go ahead and click that and delete the two and put in four if you have 16 gigabytes you can use eight and then go ahead and save it and then close it and then make sure that you go ahead and look back and see if it's saved and if it's saved you are a-okay and that's it for that um, si simple 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 thing so yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a awesome awesome day and I will talk to you guys all in my next video